Hello and welcome back to the Unboxers and today we have for you two new dun, 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 DC Multiverse figures. Yes. Today we have... We have the Joker and it is the version from Death of the Family. Alright. Is there only one Joker in that series? It's not like the Joker series or whatever. No, this yeah, is. Okay. And then we have... And then we have Batman Hazmat Suit and that is from... Justice League, the Amazo virus. Wow. He yeah. looks like he really needs to go up against that Joker, though. Yes. <laughs> Even though they're in separate worlds or whatever, uh. right? Separate universes or something. So, these are both from the DC Multiverse, and these are both um, made by McFarlane Toys. Yes. So, um, let's see. Let's take a look at Batman first. So, there's the... Um, the cool artwork that you're going to get in the collector card. And then, of course, there's some other awesome um, care, um, figures that you can get. And then, let's see his artwork. Whoa. Very cool. There's his artwork and some other figures as well. All right. So, let's go ahead and get these two out of their boxes and give you a much closer look. We'll be right back. Okay. And we're back. So let's go ahead and we'll start with Joker. We're going to show off his collector card. So there you have the collector card. Whoa, that is super creepy. And that's the same artwork as on the back of the box. There's his data file. So if you want to read about this particular Joker, you can pause. Um, and then they, of course, all come with the stand with the one peg DC. Like the regular McFarlane, figure, McFarlane figures. All right, and let's take a look at his weapon, which you pointed out. Yes, it looks like the bat symbol. Yeah, look at that. That's interesting. And it's got a little, little bit of um, design right here on the handle as well. Detail is what I was going to say. Um, all right. And there Whoa. he is. Oh, creepy. All right, so he's super blurry. There he is. Um whoa this is definitely a face look at that face look at that detail so what you're telling me is he's got a face over a face it looks like well it's that's Almost actually like, his face but it was removed and then he took the skin and strapped it back onto his face oh yeah that's so, not creepy enough yeah so this is probably one of, of of the ones that i've ever seen one of the creepiest most disturbing version you know like or yeah. looks of the joker that i've ever for sure experienced so with. here's this purple coat with the flower got the the uh i don't know if you call that a bow tie or i don't know anyway it's like a yeah i guess it is a bow tie tie yeah i don't know what that particular type of tie it's like is fabric called, yeah it's like a loose bow but i don't know what you call it um i'm sure somebody out there knows the correct name but he's got his white gloves on and let me back it up a little bit we got the black shirt. His jacket is quite pliable. So, um, and then it's only up to here. This part is the rubbery part. Um, this part is hard uh, plastic so that he won't uh, have as much, um, he'll have more range of motion for his shoulders that way with the, the way the jacket's made. Look at the buttons and everything. Yeah, I definitely like how they're, they're designing the newer figures with, where the sections of it are soft and section of it, you know, are not. Right. So that it gives you, you know, better range of So, motion. top of the pants here is also very pliable. Yeah. And uh, that way, uh, anyway, you'll show off his articulation, but that way he can have more range of motion in the hips as well. And there's his awesome shoes. And he does have um, pegs in the bottom of his feet so that you can put them on the stand. All right, you want to show off his articulation? Okay, so let's take a look. So he's got his 22 moving parts, so he's got good neck articulation. All right, so he can um, look up to a certain extent. He can um, he looks down really well, so that's cool. And of course, it'll go side to side and tilt, so he can get some really creepy Joker looks going. Um, he's got good articulation at the shoulders, uh, and he's got the. Uh, the butterfly, double butterfly shoulders to give him more range of motion. And, of course, it will rotate as well as extend. He has the uh, bicep swivel. He has the 
double elbow and of course the double wrist so it will bend as well as twist um, he's got two points in the torso the waist uh, so the waist will go back and forth as well as the mid torso so he can get some good twists and bends and uh, all that good fun stuff um, he's got great range of motion at the hips and like he said like this piece is soft so he can it's got gives so he can have better range of motion even at the hips he also has the double knee the ankle so the ankle will pivot as well as Ben and then of course the toe so very cool and creepy yes all right so now we're gonna take a look at Batman of course um, same stand with the one peg and says DC on it um, here's his collector card with the artwork um, very dark like a dark green background Got some ooze or something going on there and then here's his data file if you want to pause and read all about this particular Batman so um, from this universe all right let's take a look so to me he looks like well he's hazmat suit right yes. uh, yeah mm -hmm. so he looks like almost like a scuba diver yeah um, he's got the tubes I guess of oxygen or whatever who knows what's going on on that planet um, well, I'm sure yeah I'm sure it's probably because um, I think it has something to do with like the you know because it says that he meso virus so I think it's more of a not that he's on a different planet but it's oh like, protection he's, yeah like a like a biohazard kind of thing very cool so he's got both of those that come from the tank and then they also wrap around and go uh into his torso right there um i really like the blue around the bat symbol on his chest but he's got some extra markings going on there too as well which is kind of interesting it's almost like a mustache yeah <laughs> um and then he's got some really cool details here like there's a actual clear piece over this um oh yeah meter or Control whatever he's got going on. yeah whatever he's got going there he's got the typical spikes right there um the extra um armor at the shoulders and um a really cool belt with all the pockets on it and also um some really cool pockets and items on the side um he's got some really cool um knee, uh was it knee armor that's going on there's his boot and there's the tread. Very cool. Yeah, this is really... A, um, I'm not really familiar with this one, but... Um, he looks really neat. But yeah, it's a really cool um, look for Batman, so... Really cool design. Your turn. All right, so let's see. So again, with the... Uh, he's got the neck articulation, and these just kind of attach, so... Um, let's see. He can, he can also look down. Uh, he can look up. Um, same with the shoulder. He's got the double butterfly shoulder as well. The bicep swivel. This is a little, the joint is a little tight, but you can see he's got the bicep swivel. Also the double elbow and the double wrists. He has also two points at the torso. He has the uh, good range of motion at the hips. This, the, this piece is also soft on him as well. Um, he has the double knee. Uh, he actually has the... Um, Top of the boot, top of the boot, yeah. uh, or mid calf swivel, uh, and then of course the the ankle. So the ankle will rotate uh, and pivot, and, and he also has the toe articulation. So really cool new version of Batman. All right, so there you have. We have the Batman Death of the Family Joker, and the Hazmat Suit Batman. Wow, that's a mouthful. Yes. All right. So, um, I hope you've enjoyed checking out these figures. They're definitely two of the ones that are like off the wall, but it's really cool when they do these um, ones we haven't seen so much of before, and we can see all the details um, of these figures. Very, very cool, and see them kind of come to life in figure form. Yes. So, thank you so much for watching. As always, come back and see us. Like, subscribe, and we will see you next time.